What's up everybody, it's Tim and you're here at Stock Picks by Tim. In this video though, I'm gonna be looking over some cryptos. We're gonna look at Ethereum, Cardano, and Bitcoin, not in that order. Now, all three of these are doing different things. We've got different things to look at on each chart. So I'm gonna give you my thoughts. We've also got some patterns potentially playing out here over the next couple of days. So you definitely wanna keep an eye on those patterns. Now, if you're new here, I put out daily videos. Definitely helps me out if you hit the like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, you know the YouTube drill. Now let's first off look at Bitcoin. So first off, one thing I wanna show you here is Bitcoin does seem like it's forming a double top and this is this kind of an m shape and i'll go over the definition of what it actually is what it means they don't always play out but this is the first time it's had this m or a double top ever since the beginning of this rally starting in mid-june so this is literally the first time that we have topped out like this I mean, this you could say was close, but this was a slightly higher high than this previous high. And this is obviously not the right pattern, right? Similar pattern, but didn't play out and wasn't, you know, wasn't accurate enough. This I think is a very clear pattern. And the more clear a pattern is typically the more people will see it, the more people will trade it. So you definitely want to look out for this with Bitcoin. And I know people really don't like to zoom out much, but you'll see we've been in this downtrend since somewhere around October, November, and it's just been consistently continuing down. We have these slight little rallies before going down the next leg down the next leg down now if you have to go by the pattern of just what's been going on i would say we're soon due for our next leg down is it going to happen is it not going to happen that's up for debate but one thing you're going to want to watch out for on this longer term chart here you're going to want to see if we can actually break out of this and have a nice downtrend reversal or if we're going to not break it and push farther down try to test this ascending support but for me personally it's a bit concerning to see this double top it might not play out we might just see it continue to create new highs but that's definitely something to watch out for something to be aware of but basically all you need to know is a double top is a bearish pattern and for a double top to play out you actually do have to break below this support and we haven't yet now check this out if this double top does play out if we do come down and break this this bottom of this M break this support very likely we're also breaking this ascending wedge or ascending channel you can call it these red lines here and then after that it's very possible we test this yellow ascending support so watch out for that if this pattern does play out watch for this red line if we break that very possible we test the yellow and next up I wanted to show you Cardano you look and see that you know we've been in a downtrend same thing right around September October this one though has actually broken out of it we had a downtrend reversal however so far it really hasn't reacted too insanely positive. Although in July we were sitting at around 42 cents, Cardano's now 55, 56 cents right near that breakout, right near those previous highs. Now I'm zoomed in a bit here, but you'll see this was where that reversal came in. And since then we've been on an uptrend consistently and also breaking new recent highs. And here's another interesting thing that I have mentioned before, you know, Cardano is trading a lot like small caps. It actually hit its low in May 11. Will it hit a new low? come back there and test it who's to say but it's interesting to me that cardano's last low was in fact in may early may that's now three to four months away but you know you'll see that we have net buyers you know we've got these nice green skyscraper candles i want to start seeing more of that and continue to break out i am still confident in cardano at this price and i still think it's a great dca despite the fact that we're up past you know 41 42 cents where near where our low was now next up another totally different chart and that's going to be ethereum and this one's actually in an ascending wedge which typically this is a bearish pattern but to see it actually try to break out the top of it definitely gives me some optimism now with ethereum unlike cardano this one's low was not may 11 this one's low is in fact middle of june and since then it's been creating higher lows and higher highs but looking down here at the macd and the rsi you'll see that we're getting quite overextended possibly due for ethereum to pull back maybe we will break this ascending wedge so those are definitely two things to watch out for ethereum it would be great to see it flip 2000 and start holding it as a support but just be aware that we have run quite a bit you know we were sitting around 800 dollars, and now this thing's 2000 i mean we only need 400 more to 3x from the bottom and it's literally only been a month and a half two months so i think personally ethereum might be running a little too hot too far too fast and i personally would be looking for another entry point somewhere around 1700 i would be happy to start adding again i'm holding off on ethereum i'm also pretty fully built out on cryptos you might be different you might be underextended i personally am a little overextended i have stocks like clean spark i've also got a decent position in bitcoin cardano ethereum even have some recent failures like vgx and all those vgx holders are essentially in limbo until something finally comes out of voyager's problem but what are you guys looking out for lately in terms of cryptos? Are you watching Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Cardano? Make sure you let me know down below what you've been doing in terms of cryptos lately. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you have a great weekend and take it easy.